Hello, everyone. I'm Heather Hayes. And I'm Steve Eager. It's 9 o'clock. Veterans Administration hospitals are under fire, accused of delaying care all across the country, in some cases costing veterans their lives. One veterans group is even calling on Veterans Affairs Secretary Eric Shinseki to resign over the scandal, which is now erupting in Dallas. Becky Oliver spoke to local employees who accused the VA of manipulating data to hide delays, and they say this is all about money. It's an investigation that you will see only on Fox 4. Becky. These Dallas employees say no one has come forward until now because they fear retaliation. So it's a good old boys network there in Dallas, and you will not advance at all. If you do complain or raise any issues about any type of delay in patient care or any type of legal concerns or issues that you have, then you are severely punished by harassment and bullying in the workplace. This Dallas VA employee asked us not to show her face. She says patients have suffered waiting for appointments and treatment at the North Texas Hospital. Are you aware of any deaths? Yes. It may not have been the final cause, but it certainly made it faster or contributed. And she says patients who are supposed to have a follow-up visit within 72 hours with a primary care physician or PCP get delayed even with a doctor's order. I've seen more patients come back from the ER and their PCP will give them an appointment six months out. And they've been in the ER, obviously they had some kind of emergent issue. So 72 hours could turn into six months? Yes. She says the numbers in the system are manipulated to show patients are actually being seen when they're not. And it's all about the money. Anything they can do to make their numbers look good so that they don't have to actually work and see the patients so that they still get their bonuses. A union rep with the American Federation of Government Employees says the falsification of numbers is tied to performance measures. It's a numbers-driven system, and more employees are not coming forward because of their fear of retaliation and reprisal. You look at all of the states that are potentially caught up in this scandal of mismanagement. And now with the scandal blowing up in cities across the country, this employee says upper management in Dallas is now instructing employees to alter or delete items in the system that could point to wrongdoing here in North Texas. They were told to get rid of all the papers where they were writing down patients with the delay of appointments and to delete them all. No one with the VA would agree to an on-camera interview, but a spokesperson released a statement saying, we take any allegations about patient care or employee misconduct very seriously and pledge to take prompt corrective actions if allegations are substantiated. In my experience, that I mean, it's just, they're just trying to do a mass cover-up. I and mean, I don't think that stuff's going to change at the VA unless they kind of look at everything from the top down and address the issues. Now, whistleblowers in Austin and San Antonio have also come forward accusing the VA of manipulating data to hide long wait lines. Now, if you have information about the North Texas VA, contact us on myfoxdfw.com or log on to my Facebook page and post a comment. We definitely want to hear from you. All right, Big, let's talk about the, the bonus program implemented by the VA, not just here, but right. everywhere. The performance measures. Performance measures. And that the, the, the goal was to get people seen more quickly. Right. And that was the idea, maybe incentivize it. But the other thing you think they would do was be hire more people to treat more people. Did that happen? We're hearing that they did not. And, again, that's part of the problem here is that what the critics are saying that's happened is it's, it's kind of creating a, an incentive to cook the books, to cheat. That's at least the allegation. All right. Just kind of getting going, it feels like, Becky. We'll hear more. Thank you very much. Now, one new report alleges the Department of Veterans Affairs paid a combined $36.4 million to settle 167 cases related to deaths because of delays in medical treatment. President Obama said in a statement today he has, quote, confidence in Veterans Affairs Secretary Eric Shinseki, close quote, despite calls for Shinseki's resignation. Several politicians and the American Legion, the nation's largest veterans group, want Shinseki to resign. There are allegations and whistleblowers coming forward in 19 states about this growing scandal over delayed medical care and falsified record keeping in the VA system.